mean time to harassment. Now, what is that actually, and why is it a meaningful metric to look at? Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, the mean time to harassment was um, so really one of one of the problems I guess that Ray also foresaw is that there's a lot of a lot of strategies where it's impossible, where it's nearly impossible to gauge the efficacy of a strategy. So, like political crusading, for example, like we know it doesn't work, but like if you actually try to like actually try to put it out statistically like it's very very hard to actually quantify the success rate of someone running for office um or for for a lot of for a lot of strategies it's hard to quantify those things so rayo actually came up with this this concept of mean time to harassment and basically it's a way to gauge the um the efficacy of of a of a bonnie lifestyle so um for example um it would measure the amount of time between um instances of coercion so for example a van nomad who might have uh, um, a van nomad might have more interactions um, or have a, a lower mean time to harassment than um, someone who uh, practiced wilderness fauna in the middle of the woods. Um, they would have more interactions with the survival society. They have more interactions with coercers in general. So that's the idea. Is it's just a way to gauge the efficacy of a Vani, a Vani lifestyle, um, and it's in terms of how often um, you interact with uh, with the state with, uh, with with the state or with private coercers is, is the idea. Yeah, right. And I like that aspect too, that it's, it's not just the state who's, who's of course a big attacker, but private individuals are assholes as well. Right. So, uh, like mm -hmm. just, you know, getting beaten over by thugs or your, your purse stolen, uh, is, uh, is, you know, harassment already. And, uh, just by including this statistic as well as any interaction with the state, right? Like requiring a license plate or paying property taxes and all these, all these things where that are not based on a voluntary ethical uh, action can be nicely quantified and then as you said right compared across strategies and we can kind of get a su success metric out of this right and and also mentioned one other element that he puts uh and, and vani book one again vani podcast.com just go to that free books tab if you want to pull up this chart um it's in vani book one the search for personal freedom but uh, there's a chart in there too and the other element that he puts on there is is, is activity so um, if you are a pedestrian, you know, traveling through the wilderness where there's nobody out there, the activity is going to be very, very low. Um, whereas if you are starting, you know, like small manufacturing facility, the activity is going to be a lot higher. So that's another element too is, um, another element to mean time to harassment is, is also gauging, you know, like your, your own efficacy and your own, um, your own, I guess, uh, possibilities, um, with, with your skills. Um, so someone who is not very proficient at, um, I don't know, security culture principles are not very proficient at, um, you know, practicing the grand man or something along those lines. They might not be the best person to like start an intentional community or something like that, right? Um, they might be best, uh, you know, getting a van and going and learning these things and trying it out and, you know, a, much, a more safer route, I guess you could say, one that would draw less attention, um, where they can, you know, kind of blend in and just kind of, um, learn these things in a, in a safe, a, a more, you know, safe and conducive environment. Um, so yeah, that's another, another element too when we're talking about Bonnie lifestyle changes is the activity or the proficiency, um, that one would need to have. Um, and again, to go back to this example, um, you know, starting intentional community, which involves, you know, dispute resolution and all sorts of complex stuff versus some driving a car around, which we're taught to do when we're 16, you know, by the state. So if the state can teach us to drive, um, you know, via their, you know, their dumb DMVs and shit, then it's probably a pretty easy thing to do, right? So. Um, yes, we're talking about proficiency levels here uh, as well.